What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Loverfella, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. Welcome back. Seriously, it has been two weeks since I've been able to make a video for you. Um, at least two weeks. I think it was about 15 or 16 days since I've been in my apartment, and it feels so good to be back here, to be making videos every single day for you. I fixed my audio issue. I know I said it last time. We won't have to worry about it again, but I actually truly did know what's wrong this time, so I can actually fix it. Got a laugh for look. So we got that to look forward to. Now, this might sound a little rusty. This episode might be a little rough because it has been about two weeks since I recorded, so my process is a little off. It just feels kind of strange getting back into it. But guys, um, over that two-week period, we gained almost 5,000 subscribers. We are hitting record growth right now. 300 subs a day is what I'm averaging right now. That's unbelievable. So thank you to each and every one of you for helping me reach my goal of 100,000 subs by the end of the year. Let's talk about some serious important updates right now for everyone out there who's been like asking me this question every day. When are you making your own server or when can I play with you? I get like 50 to 60 people asking that a day right now. And you notice I'm not answering everyone. Um, I'm just kind of answering a few people here and there just because it's a lot of work to go through and answer the same question over and over again. And it's partly my fault, but I will say right now, if you want updates like that and you really want to play with me, please follow me on Twitter. That's where I post my updates. YouTube comments is not a very good place for those because it's kind of easy to get lost in the comments. So follow me on Twitter for updates or in my Steam group. So what's happening? I've been talking about this server for a long time. Well, guys, it's finally here, and within the next few days, it will be up officially. And I have to thank my very first sponsor, Nitrato Gaming. Um, someone from Nitrato Gaming actually emailed me a couple weeks ago and said, Hey, dude, we like your ARC videos, we like your content. We would love to be a sponsor and provide you with a free server. And so I'm getting a 60 floor, 64 slot server for free, and it is going to be amazing, guys. We're going to have so much fun there. It's going to be just it's going to be a blast so everyone can play with me there every single one of you will be able to and um i'm super excited for it now let me see here what do i need I need a little bit of flint it's been a while since i've played art guys let me tell you um but here's one thing i do want to ask should i make this server public for everyone to join even people that don't watch videos or should i make it you have to watch a video to join for example like a password i'll put in my video what would you guys want i have no preference um obviously there'd be less people like this maybe less trolls or something but that's something to consider uh, while I'm making this server. I definitely need to go through and like work out of the rates and everything. But I do have a good idea of how I want rates to be thanks to my Patreons who are helping out so much with these donations each month, guys. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you helping me, especially right now uh, between classes, between work. My only source of revenue right now is YouTube, and you're helping me. Oh, jeez, I got no food right now. Oopsies. <laughs> but you guys are really, truly making a difference in my life. Like, the, the small donations, big donations, everything helps me. So thank you to those people. And um, I think that is the majority of announcements. I do have one more. We will leave that for tomorrow's episode. It is really cool, and I'm excited to share it with you. But for now, let's talk about what my plans are on this server while I wait for mine to go up. This is official server... I am currently playing on official server 58, North American server, by the way, that's just where I'm from, so that's where I gotta play, and I figured while I'm waiting for my server to go up, I thought it'd be cool to play a little bit of official, and uh, just kind of put it out there, official server 58, if you want to join, I'm pretty much accepting everyone right now, and what I think would be cool is, uh, if we got maybe, I don't know, like a crap ton of people to join the server, people who maybe like official more than high rates, I know a lot of you out there complain every day and tell me to kill myself because I don't play on uh, official servers. So this could be for you guys that absolutely hate me. And um, we could get a big tribe going on here. And it could be cool to kind of have like official videos here and there. Maybe not as like a main style because like a lot of people understand. Official is boring because I'm going to be grinding a lot. I'm doing a lot of just not very fun stuff. But if I had like 30 people to play with, we could go on some cool official raids. We could do some cross server raids. Um, we could get some really cool stuff going. The only thing is I would need a lot of participation from people. So I'm just going to say it again. Official server of number 58. I'll probably link it in the description. I have no way to show you my coordinates because official servers don't really allow it. But if you can figure out where I am, I'm kind of near the green obby right here. My plan is basically set up a little tiny base. I'm going to put a passcode on it, and you guys can, of course, see my passcode. And so I would like you to walk in my base and just log out if I'm not on at the time. Um, I'll go ahead and post an update tomorrow. There'll be like an hour range where I'll be on the server. And in that hour, I'll be recruiting every single person who comes. So it'll be uh, at some point after my video, maybe like an hour after my video is up if I'm available. I will probably be on and just try to get to this area. I wish I could tell you where I was. I wish I had a GPS or something, but... Green obelisk-ish area, um, that's about all I got for you. I did stay pretty close to one of the spawns, so maybe that'll help a little bit. But right now, um, I'm just trying to get back in the groove of things, guys. I mean, I'm happy to be back. I'm, like, smiling so much right now. 
it just feels great to be here after what was felt like one of the longest breaks in the world like i felt like not producing videos every day like sometimes i get inspiration you know like you're walking around you see something and it just inspires you you want to talk about it i want to share it and um it, it's just great i got a lot of things i want to talk about in the future got a lot of plans for the new year it is going to be an amazing year for my channel and hopefully for you guys hopefully your new year's resolutions are already like kind of in gear you got them started uh i do want to say one thing well, i asked you guys what your new year's resolution was i said post it in the comments what is something that you want for your resolution and the overwhelming majority of you said something along the lines of losing weight getting a six-pack looking better um something about your physical appearance and guys i'll just tell you right now at the be oh, exactly one year ago today i was obese um i'm five foot six i'm or actually sorry i'm five foot five um i'm incredibly short and uh i was 190 pounds a year ago right now i'm sitting at five foot five and i'm now 145 pounds and uh i basically went through this journey of weight loss called keto i started working out i basically changed my entire life and uh i will just tell you guys that if the one of your resolutions was to get a six pack to get in shape whatever just kind of work out in some way um I'll tell you that it is worth it and I believe you guys can do it. It's hard. It's not easy when you first start, but it completely changes your life. Like look at this guys, because I worked out, I have the confidence to make these videos. I got the confidence to start talking to you guys, put myself out there and follow my dream. I was afraid to follow my dream before and um, I attribute the majority of that to working out and getting in shape. Follow my meal plan, which is called Keto if you're interested in it. Um, it's a great meal plan, no carbs. but. I mean, it's amazing, guys. It can change your life because once you have the outside taken care of, you see those differences, you believe in yourself, you're like, holy crap, I can do this. Then it becomes so much easier to take care of the inside. Um, that's something I really stand by. I think to take care of the inside, you first have to be able to take care of your outside. And so um, if you're like already in shape, or whatever, this obviously doesn't apply to you. But if this is your goal, you want to get in shape, you want to get fit and healthy, and um, it's going to help you in so many ways. It's going to help you so, so much. So guys, Good luck to everyone out there. I know you can do it. I believe in you. Um, I'm excited to hear what kind of what kind of year you guys have. You know, I mean, this is the year. This is, I believe, this is gonna be my best year ever. I think this is going to be not only my best YouTube year, but my best personal life year. I'm a. I just feel like I'm a different person after I started YouTube. Like spreading my messages and, man, I don't even know how to explain it, guys. I just feel like YouTube has changed my life, and I want to. I want to say I'm thank you to all of you. I want to say you guys are amazing. You're awesome. And um, I, I wish I could do something for you guys to show how much you mean to me. But for now, I'm just going to have to say thank you and hope you guys believe it because um, it's amazing. It really is amazing. All right. So I will say right off the bat, guys, these rates. Oh, I'm dehydrated. Oops. I'm going to go. Oh, man, I mean, I'm almost starving, too. I got to get some more berries soon. Um, these rates are actually pretty horrible. Um, as someone who doesn't play official, excuse me, it's extremely difficult for me to... Um, to do this right now and so what i'm just kind of banking on right now is uh the assumption that a lot of you will be joining me a lot of you do like official and want to play on this and then that'll make it go a lot quicker because you can't really play official alone i mean you kind of can but like come on it's not going to be that it's just you're not going to do well it's going to take way too much time it's not going to be worth it and so um i think it'd be kind of cool to just kind of take over the server now we definitely have the numbers i know we have the numbers um plenty of people want to play with us our steam group has 500 members right now uh, that would destroy the server with that many people so we're not looking to get every single person but um if we could get like i don't know 30 people or so in this tribe maybe have people on 24 7 grinding from around the world uh assuming the ping is decent from all, all the places you guys are from i think we could do something really special here and i'm not trying to be an oppressive alpha i'm not trying to be destructive i don't want to destroy people and we will have some rules in our tribe because I've invited a lot of people in the past that seem like great people and they join us and then the moment we get grenades, boom, they're off the wire, they start blowing into everyone and our tribe is destroyed. Um, the last three seasons have been uh, pretty much uh, ruined by these people doing that. So uh, we're gonna have some strict rules, we're gonna have some uh, basically like tribe rules, like if you just, like, I don't know, I'm gonna have some stuff organized, we're gonna get it figured out so that way it won't happen. Um, but I really do think that we could do something cool here. And I think honestly, I might be one of the first YouTubers that is like kind of invaded an official server like this, like just from nothing, bringing in subs. I really don't know. Cause I don't watch a whole lot of other arc YouTubers, but, um, maybe um, there probably are other people that have done it, but I think it'd be really cool and fun. So remember official server 58 green obelisk, come join me. It'll be super fun. You guys will love it. And just real quick, let us go ahead and put in our pin code on our door. I'm going to make the pin code. 
let's do one two three zero that's the pin code so if you want to join me one two three zero right here this is the spot you can just log out inside the base and then i'll update you guys on twitter i'll say hey i'm going on everyone get on right now and i'll just start recruiting you boom 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 and then if you're an idiot i'm gonna say why are you an idiot get out of my tribe um and by idiot i mean you're going around like killing people trying to create some drama for us we don't want that we want to kind of stay a little bit stealthy and so i know people are going to join and be like yo i um, want to play with lover fellow the youtuber and then they're going to find out and we're probably not going to do too well but i don't know i figured might as well try it's not a super active server and it could be kind of fun. all right guys 100 percent dude right there on a mammoth uh please don't wipe me brother please don't wipe me i don't even remember there's my base uh all right we cool he probably didn't even see me because my base is so tiny but um you know we'll hope, hope this is a peaceful pvp server i did do some research and 58 was uh told or i was told that 58 was a pretty good one to join so hopefully it is all right Let's get a chest so we can finally start uh, going, out, going around collecting things because I have way too much on me right now that I really don't need and some charcoal that I stole from my dude's campfire. Felt pretty good. And a few narcotics. That's not too bad, guys. That is not too bad. Good haul we got right now. Okay, so I'm aware that this base location, like, it's not really not that good. Like, it's, it's kind of near water, but it's also in the open and there's not really near a lot of resources. It's basically a noob location, but on an official server... On an official server, I think um, one of the things you have to do is kind of set up a base camp somewhere that you can uh, at least somewhat protect your base, and then afterwards you can move into the more advanced places, but it's going to be near impossible to like build in a volcano or something when you have no items. So this is going to be like our basic general crappy base to start with, and then what do I need to repair that? What, what? Oh, stone wood and thatch. I need everything to repair that. But once we get this guy taken care of, maybe by today I can get it up to wood. It'll probably be a longer video. I'm probably just going to ramp. Oh, good lord. That seems like a massive base that I just built next to. <laughs> oh, well, let's go check her out real quick and see what the damage is. Is that stone? Those are just stone behemoth gates, right? I think we're good. We're probably cool with him. He's probably chill. Yeah, dude. He just had the mammoth, I think. So, um, you know, that's not a good location, but he does have some fire. Let's go. Let's go try to talk to him real quick. See if he wants to help a noob out. Maybe we can ally up with him at these beginning early stages and get a little bit of help out here. All right. What is that green stuff? Is that plant X or is that just a glowing plant? Oh, baby. Look at this little house down here. Oh, look at this cute little thing. The revenant. Okay. Well, Mr. Revenant, I'm coming upstairs. You have a little jumping. That's a suicide board. These things are all over. You, you jump off of it to kill yourself when you're sad. All right. And I don't think I can get into his base. Looks like he has it pretty well walled off, but he's got a garden there. What the crap? Raptor claws. Man, I've been away way too long. I don't even know the Christmas event was going on. But I'm probably going to assume that the Christmas event is ending right now. Right as I'm about to play. Because it's, what, January 2nd right now. So Christmas is long done and gone. And by the way, guys, um, I actually bought myself a Christmas present. Um, basically just used all the YouTube money I've been saving up for a while. And bought myself a really, really, really nice vlogging camera. And so I've been like going around practicing my vlogging. have a bunch of footage. I just haven't edited it yet because... Um, I don't know how interesting it is, but like, it, it's so awkward to vlog. Like, have you guys tried it before? It's so awkward. Like, I'm carrying my camera around with me, even around family members, and it's like, people just stare at you and like, why are you, who are you talking to right now? And like, I feel like it'd be different if my vlog channel had any videos, like if I'd actually done it and like knew if people wanted to watch it, but I've never even made one, and so it's just the strangest feeling. But for whatever reason, man, something is pulling me towards it. Something's saying, like, Zach, you got to get out there, make some vlogs, and share your life. And um, I'm going to probably try to edit one tonight, see how it turns out. I might upload that. So, what? D didn't I have more thatch? I swear I have more thatch. What's going on here? All right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Was that five thatch to repair? Am I crazy or is that five? Oh, that's a pricey thing to repair, man. I don't care who you are. That's a lot of thatch for a single pickaxe. But um, go subscribe to that channel if you haven't, if you want to watch vlogs. That's more for people who want to see behind the scenes stuff, kind of who want to see like um, what goes on in my personal life, just some more talks and all that good stuff. But it's going to be fun. I hope you guys like it. So I think I've shamelessly plugged pretty much everything that I have right now. I nailed Patreon, Twitter, Steam Group. Yeah, I think I got them all. So go, go get on all those things, especially if you consider yourself a real serious fan. If you're the kind of person that is upset when I don't post an ARC video, you should probably be in one of those groups. That way you can get an update right away. So I can say like, hey guys, sorry, no ARC today. Uh, because what I do is I save a bunch of non-ARC videos. They're easier to make if they're not ARC. And I'll um, kind of put them up on my YouTube channel. Right now I have zero of them saved, but 
I use them um, to upload something when I don't have an ARC video. Because some days I just can't play ARC or my video goes bad. Um, it's a, a tense game. It's hard to record. Or maybe I just get destroyed like someone wipes my base. I'm like, I don't really want to record this. So I'll just upload a backup video. And um, that's kind of one of the... Oh, what a perfect time to rain. But I'm also about to starve. But that is kind of the reason why I do different videos. And um, I will continue to be doing different videos sticking to my schedule. If you don't realize that, I do two ARC and then one on ARC um, for the most part with very minimal uh, exceptions here and there. I will kind of change it, but it's really not that different. Um, maybe once a month I'll be kind of off with it. But that is what I do, and that's what I'm going to do. So if you only want to watch an ARC video, guys, that's not me. I'm not only doing ARC. I will never only do ARC, and you're stupid if your channel does only one game. Because your channel will live and die with that game. And like every other game in the history of the world, it will at one point no longer be popular. And if this game is no longer popular, then my channel turns to nothing. And I'm not going to let something that I lose sleep over, that I lose friends over, that I lose so much over turn into nothing because this game disappears. So I will continue to play different games and I will not let my channel fall apart because this game will eventually fall. I mean, this game is great right now. It's still in early access. I think it has a long life ahead of it. But... If the devs keep doing updates like they are, a lot of people think they're ruining official servers. A lot of people think that the game's falling apart. A lot of hate is going on to Wildcard because of some of their decisions. They're putting in-game game items in right now in order to... Wait, can I pick this? I think we might be lagging on this server or something. There we go. They're putting in-game items in, like a cow or something or a sheep, to get votes on the Steam Awards. They went ahead and released uh, Early Access Expansion Pack. Like These things, a lot of people hate. And because of that... Um, to me at least, it's telling me that Wildcard is not a very good company. Like, I love the game, I think it's a great game, but I think their business decisions are awful, and, um, it, it is kind of scary to me, because I think it's possible with one decision they could ruin their entire game. Now, I'm obviously not a game developer, maybe they have a bigger plan in mind, and the game clearly is doing well, it has a lot of players and a lot of people that love it. I love it. But what I'm saying is, this game will not be here forever, and I'm not gonna let my channel die because this game disappears. So, I love my channel, I love you guys, and I want to keep hearing from you. And I hope you want to keep hearing from me. And so I hope you understand that the reason I'm doing different games is not because I hate you, not because I hate ARK, but because I believe my channel has something special. I believe, truly believe, this year we will hit 100,000 subs, if not more. We are on pace, guys. We are actually ahead of pace to hit 100,000 subs by December 2017. Do you understand how crazy that is? Like, it's literally a dream come true. And I feel like as you put the effort in to do something you love, eventually... I oh mean, I still don't grow a level. Jeez, this is... This is taking a while. Um, as you put the effort into something you love and you dream about it every single night, this is what you want to do. I want to be a YouTuber every day. I think about it. And then one day, like Roman Atwood said in his recent video, you just start to realize that you're actually living that dream. Every single day, I look at my subscriber count. I just fill up with emotions, like so much happiness, so much thankfulness. Like It's just crazy to see the effort you put in slowly pay off over time. Like... I wanted this for years and I'm finally at a point where my channel is growing immensely and it's just it's amazing it makes me so speechless to think about that there is not only a possibility but a guarantee a guarantee that we will hit a hundred thousand subs this year like I have no doubt in my mind that we're gonna make it there I have kind of how my analytics are looking if you're interested in it while I'm boringly harvesting stuff try to get this base a little bit better um my analytics kind of plateau after a certain time and so for example Three or four months ago, I was getting about 10 subs a day. And then suddenly it went to about, jumped up, maybe like 30, 40 subs a day. And then it kept jumping up and up and up to 100 subs. Where is my base? It's, okay, good. My base must be hidden because I can't even find it myself. But it kept jumping up in these increments and it would never have seemed to drop yet. Sorry, let me rephrase that. It has never like dropped. Like once it hits a new kind of like baseline, once I get like 100 subs for three days, it never goes below that number. And now it's hitting 350 per day. And if my analytics are correct, it's not going to drop below that number. It should keep going up and up. I'm um, sure here and there it will drop below it. But I hope it doesn't. And I hope we keep growing like this and we do hit 100,000. And um, thank you. I just want to say thank you. Because I know we're going to do it. You guys are awesome. And um, man, it's just, I just wanted to say that so much since I've been home. Because um, I've been unable, unable to make videos and stuff. And, like, I think about it a lot. Like, we hit 10,000. I couldn't say the next day, like, thank you guys for that. And I felt horrible because I was like, oh, I just really want to thank them because you guys are awesome. We, I've already said it, but you know it. You're the best subscribers in the world. 
And uh, so anyway, guys, I love you. Keep being positive and just keep following your dream. Love whatever you love. Follow that love. Follow that feeling. And eventually you're going to be the happiest person ever. All right. Let's get another level here. Um, Got to be careful with what I'm upgrading. Um, I, I guess a bed would be kind of smart to do that way. Like I can kind of respawn in my base, but that kind of makes it so I can't get anything else this level. Now, getting the hide might be a slight challenge considering all I have is a spear. Um, but the more I do this right now, like the more I'm playing on official, the more it's kind of growing on me, honestly. <laughs> no, it is interesting how there's a basically no dinosaurs around here. Um, I actually haven't seen a single dinosaur since I started playing on the server anywhere, which is really str There's a frog. It's really... <gasps> there's a base too. It's really strange though. Because usually you're getting attacked by di diplos and like raptors and all kinds of stuff. But I must have picked the greatest spot ever because there's just nothing around me. Although, I guess the pitfall, downfall of that is that there's really not a lot of hide. And I'm pretty sure this frog was probably going to murder me because I don't really have anything that could kill it with. What, what level is he? Level 120. That used to be the max level. Oh, boy. Well, I guess I can't take him, can I? Uh, maybe we'll just wait around and see if, like, some kind of weak animal comes up near us and ventures near our base. But this is pretty cool. This is pretty fun. You know, I came in it with an open mind. Um, a lot of people hate official. A lot of people love official. It kind of draws a line in the art community. I can see why people like it. Like, I really could. Like, it's kind of a satisfying grind. The only thing I wouldn't like is if I come back to my base being destroyed, which, since there's no rules on official, is pretty possible and likely. And I could see that kind of being, like, the last straw for people. You put in 30, 40 hours, and then everything's gone to a jerk. You wouldn't like that. You wouldn't like that at all. And so I understand both sides of of the official unofficial war that goes on in my comments a lot of times but I'm, I'm enjoying it a lot or maybe it's just the fact that I haven't played Ark in so long and um, I'm just kinda like I miss this game and it's good to be back good to be playing again oh no we got a Sarko just walking up to our base why is he coming up so high I'm pretty sure he can break through thatch and like 99% sure is there someone on him he seems humongous as far as Sarkos are concerned, oh, he's like killing a baby Sarko almost, it looks like. Wow, that's fascinating. Look at him go. Well, thank you, uh, small little rodent, for leading the giant Sarko up to my base. Now now my entire base is going to be destroyed when I log out. A little spike wall area over there. It seems like a pretty active section of the map over here. So we're just going to run away a little bit, and maybe that Sarko will disappear. Maybe he'll chase something else away, or maybe he's the reason why there's actually nothing near my base right now. I mean, it could be anything, guys. It could be anything. Oh my gosh, he's still chasing him. We're good, we're good. Although, man, he looks huge. Is it just me, or does he look like the biggest Sarko in the world? Um, But I guess it might be kind of hard for me to get wood in one night, because I do have a lot of other stuff to do. Like, I just got back to my apartment. I still got to make dinner, go shopping, unpack, all that fun stuff. So I don't know if I'm even going to be able to make it wood tonight, at least not for a couple of hours. And so hopefully my base is still standing here once you get back tomorrow. But I did collect a lot of stuff. So I'm thinking maybe we could like uh, kind of build out walls on this side and make like a little double barrier or something, something. You guys will see. It'll be good. Let's do some thatch walls. Thir oh, no, no, not 13. How many do I need? Um, three? Three, four, five, six. I need seven-ish walls. So I'm just going to kind of enclose it on the outside. And then basically pray that that's kind of enough barrier. He won't come in in this corner and attack us. Maybe he would though. Dude, I don't know what goes on in Shark Sarko's minds when they're attacking you. Like, what's their what's their radius of aggression? Like, will they be be aggressive if uh, I have like a one block radius here, kind of protecting me? I'm not really sure. But it is a nice honeycomb design we have going here. I am quite a fan of that. All right, I need one, two, three, four, five, six. I need eight more walls, so I'm at three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I need five, and then I'd like to get a couple more foundations. And then basically just enclose it. I could, don't need a roof. And it should be enough that the Sarko won't aggro on me when I'm logged out in here. Um, you know, that's completely a guess. 100% based on no factual evidence at all. But uh, should be good. I need more thatch. All right. Let's go put these walls up. Run out and get some thatch. Please don't murder me because I think I didn't close my door earlier. And I might have just forgot to do that. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. All right. Go on a quick thatch run here. Um... Man, this is weird. It feels weird making a video on this. I hope it's not too boring. hope you guys aren't, like, crying your eyes out right now. Well, I guess I always say it. If you're watching this far in, you're not that bored. Or it's also possible you accidentally left this open right now, and you're not listening to anything that I'm saying, and it's just kind of running in the background. In which case, thank you, because that actually does help my channel out a little bit here and there. As long as you leave those likes and stuff every here, every minute, you know, whatever. It's good. It's good. Oh, look at that. The perfect amount of that. You can't beat that. All right. Let's get this thing taken care of. Um, you know where my base is. You know how to get here. I think, I guess one of them will have to actually leave as a door or something. That way people can, like, walk into the main central unit. 
I guess that would be pretty smart. But this is, you know, this is cool. Nice and honeycombed a little bit. Kind of looks, you know, looks like a, like a pretty big new base, but that's okay with me. All right. So we're protected here. We're protected on the back side, a whole extra layer. And then I'm just going to place like a random door maybe over here. Do I have any? What? What happened to all my walls, man? I thought I, oh yeah, I put them inside. I was like, I thought I made like 50 walls. Well, seven walls, 50 walls. There's some pretty similar numbers there. And let's put it the door on this back side over here, maybe like in the far back corner. So the password to this one, again, as a reminder, it was one, two, three. I don't know what it was. One, two, three, something. You guys can rewind to that part and watch it again if you want. And all I need now is one more door. I need a little bit more thatch. And then it'll be pretty decent, like a nice little honeycomb, something, something going on here. And then maybe we could expand out. I do kind of like what it looks like right now. It's kind of cool. As long as it's enough to stop the Sarko from getting me, I think. What the? I thought official servers weren't supposed to lag. What is this crap? Why are you lagging? All right. Let's do a door frame and a door. And we are looking good. That's a, that's a pro base right there, man. I don't care who you are. That's a pro base. We'll double layer this thatch. We'll get in there with... <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're not about to double layer it, but... It does look good, and I think it's enough to stop Wilds from killing us. So if some player wants to come raid me and be a jerk, he can do that. He can definitely do that. It'll be easy. All right. Passcode to the outside door will be... One, two, three, zero. I think that's what I did on the other one, so I'm hoping if someone saw that other part and then clicked out, they will be able to still get the password. So there's the password... I'm going to go ahead and just put a few more uh, fences in here. We're going to make this a real serious honeycomb. Hopping in here for the day. Going to log out, guys. I love you more than anything. Keep following your dream, and I hope you make New Year's exactly what you want it to be. I hope you make this year the best year you've ever had. Believe in yourself, guys, and you can do anything. I will see you all tomorrow.